this year continues to get better and better and better and better for motorsports fans like myself. What is going on, E Nation fans? Excuse me. And this is the Empress 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with the Empress. I believe this is the 22nd episode, and today. Holy crap, folks, who would have thought that this would ever, ever happen, especially this year, because this year in general sucks. So, do you guys remember the IROC series? Well, guess what, folks? The IROC series is coming back next year, but, um, but they're going to be racing at short tracks. And, and they changed the name to Superstar Racing Experience. I'm honestly not sure the purpose of why they changed that name because it's still IROC, but they're still, but still the same thing, but they're gonna be racing as short tracks. But hey, IROC is back next year, baby. Uh, I believe it was formed by it was a new series launched by Tony Stewart and Ray Everham. I am looking into the website. Yeah, Tony Stewart, Ray Everham launched the series and is already a, on a TV deal with CBS. It is a new IROC style short track racing series. So basically it is the IROC series, but they're gonna be having short tracks and 12 drivers. We're still gonna have the 12 driver stuff. And also, instead of four races, they added two more races. So there's going to be six races a year. Man, oh man. But I'm curious. I'm not sure of the car, what car is going to be. But I'm reading the article from RacingNews.co. The series is set to debut 2021 on a wide range of tracks in a new style race car. It will feature just six races. A TV deal has already struck, has been struck. Saturday night races on CBS. So basically, I I really hope it's local CBS, not just CBS Sports Network. Because like, I wanted to watch World of Outlaws on CBSN, CBSSN, but I have direct TV. Like, normally, like, if I have a channel, it would be like, not dark. So basically, I have the, I have the channel, but apparently I don't. Or it's one of those channels that I do have it a week and the next thing it's gone. I don't know. If you guys know DirecTV, you guys if you guys have DirecTV, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm looking into it more. We could have a dirt track, Eldora. Alright, so hang on. Plans are still tentative, but it's expected the series will feature 12 drivers. Tony still will be one of them. So we need to have 11 more by next year. Um, the Ward Burton might be interested. And then it says, crap, hold on. The tentative tracks feature a wide range of disciplines, including the Eldora Speedway dirt track, owned by Tony Stewart, Stafford Motor Speedway in Connecticut, and Knoxville in Iowa, um, the Terry Hot Action Track in Indiana, and Florida's Five Flag Speedway in New Smyrna. So I believe we got six races already for 2021. Four people are banking the series, including Tony Stewart and Ray Everham, former NASCAR COO George Pine and Sandy Montag, and the CEO of the Montag Group are the other two involved with this series. The series is sorry. The series is expected to be comparable to the defunct IROC Racing series. A driver list has has not been announced, which the exceptions of Stewart himself, legendary crew chiefs are also expected to be part of the series, but they are rumored to rotate between the drivers. Ooh, that's going to be something else. The car will be different. I expect, it's expected the car will put the control back in the hands of the drivers. Short track racing. So, I will read the article after the film. After I finish filming. But to have a series that was so popular, but it... Um, Shut down because there was no sponsors, no more, no track deals for the series. And to have it back, 
But with a different name, I think it's awesome. What do you guys think? Do you think this is iRock coming back or is it just a different series that's similar to iRock? Personally, my opinion, I think it's iRock, but with short tracks. That's just, it's very cool to have that, have that news. It's very awesome. I am very excited for that series. Man, this year gets better for us racing fans. Just wow. What do you guys think about this news? I rock coming back. I'm excited. What about you guys? I remember like hearing that when I rock was around, they did race at the Daytona Road Course. There were talks about I rock racing at dirt, but then that didn't happen because the series folded after 2006. And then here we are next year. It's going to be 15 years of no I rock. So. And it's going to be a short track series, so I don't think we'll be seeing the big boy trucks in that series at this time or in the future. I don't know what's going to happen to the future of the Superstar series. But what matters is that iRock is back. What do you guys think about this? I hope you guys just enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm Ian Press 25 and Ian Press 48 underscore YT. Like my Facebook page, Ian Oscar 48 dash Ian Nation Films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. Don't forget to click that bell, turn on that bell, and all that good stuff. Thank you guys for supporting Ian Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I can't wait for next year, folks. Woo! Goodbye, everybody. Also, one more thing. Thank you guys so much for an amazing weekend during NASCAR Kentucky weekend and IndyCar Road America weekend. I mean, I am very blown away by the viewership I'm getting from all my reaction videos throughout the weekend. You guys are truly the best. I really do appreciate the support so much. You guys mean a lot to me. And we're almost to 400 subscribers again. If you guys are watching my videos and watching this video right now but are not subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for more content. We are almost a 400 subscribers. And I'm happy to make these videos for you guys. And I love you guys so much. Thank you guys once again for supporting E-Nation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.